the words medial and lateral are used to navigate different landmarks in the body. For example, you have two bony protuberances on your ankle. One is the distal end of the tibia bone, and one is the distal end of the fibula bone. The inner ankle and the tibia bone are closer to your midline. Remember that your median line cuts you in half right and left sides. So this bony protuberance is called the medial malleolus. Your fibula bone is further away from the midline of the body, and so your outer ankle and the fibula bone are more lateral. So this is the lateral malleolus. Following this logic, you can orient all the parts of your body with respect to the median line. Anything closer to the midline is more medial, and anything further from the midline is more lateral. Following this logic further, anterior is the word to describe body parts that are further in front, posterior for body parts that are further behind. Superior is higher up, and inferior is lower down. For example, palpate the part of your pelvis that is closest to the top and most in front. This is called your anterior superior iliac crest, or your anterior superior iliac crest. They are furthest in front, furthest most anterior point, and they're closest to the top. So these are important landmarks in the pelvis for orienting movement. For example, when the anterior superior iliac spines tilt forward, the pelvis is in an anterior tilt. When these landmarks tilt back, the pelvis is in a posterior tilt. 